necklace and already cut it into three pieces. Um, the sizes are really not important, but they will determine the length, uh, they'll determine the height of your bird. Um, so what is important is that the two pieces that are for the legs are the same. Um, and then the neck can be anything. Uh, the longer it is, the funnier your bird looks, but the shorter it is, the less tangling you get, so it's a little bit of a trade-off. So our bird is going to have a head, a neck, a body, two legs, two feet, and maybe a little embellishment. And that's what we can tap on. Okay, we're going to get started with the feet. Um, I add a little washer to the bottom of each foot so that it has a little bit of weight and also so that when the bird walks it makes that fancy high heel clicking sound, which um, my child finds delightful. Okay. So the hot glue gun on the side of the hall is not ideal um, and definitely a grown up part of this project, um, but thankfully it's pretty quick. So on the bottom of each foot, we're going to put a washer, and just for a little color on the top of each foot, um, I'm adding a sparkly pom pom. The other foot, and of course, colors don't have to match. A few people have called these Mardi Gras birds because of the Mardi Gras leaves and uh, many colors. Um, you could add feathers to the feet, but I actually don't, um, only because the feet see a lot of uh, impact <laughs> as, as the bird walks, and the feathers tend to shed a little bit as they move, and it just sounds like it would be a mess if you'd be sorry you started. So the bird will have plain feathers without adding them to the feet. But, oh, your problem. Okay, those are the legs. While the legs are drying, we're going to go ahead to the head. Um, this is where the bird gets his personality, so my favorite part, and the part that your child can certainly do most of. Um, I like these little stick-on adhesive eyes. Really, anything will work for eyes. Um, I've got these at Michael's, any craft store has them. And they stick right on. You can also get ones that you can attach with Elmer's glue. You could use beads, you could use buttons, you could use anything for eyes. Um, you can put them real close together. You could do far apart the way your real bird is. Um, I think this is a lot of the personalities right there in the eyes. Um, same thing with the beak, you can use anything, I've used felt, uh, I think we used some fur last time, this is a pipe cleaner, pipe cleaners I like because they're really easy to just stick into the styrofoam and again children can easily do this, there's no right way or wrong way to do it, the right place to put it, just stick it in there and I was talking, and I was not. Um, and the last part, and my daughter's favorite, is the feathers. Um, these again, you can get at any craft store. Um, I find that in the less expensive bags, which is what these are from, um, some of them have better stems than others, so you do have to be a little uh, forceful with the pushing on some of them. Or just, like this one has a little bit of stem. Clip it and get a fresh start. And again, there's no right way or wrong way, there's no right number. Go to town for feathers. Um, and then, when you're happy with what the head looks like, you could probably use a few more feathers, but there's time for that later. I'm going to attach the head to the neck. And while that's drying, um, we're going to move back to the body. While the head is drying, we move back to the body, and the legs should be nice and dry now. Those attach to the, to the middle, to the body. Um, you could do the feathers first. I prefer to do the glue first and let it dry and then uh, the feathers don't get in the way. I find it's easier to let the glue dry and feather around it than to glue around feathers. Okay. Also this way, you can get all the hot glue out of the bag and pass it to your child for endless feathering fun.
this is uh, your basic bird, all feathered. Um, and at this point, many instructions for making a bird marionette suggest putting fishing line or string from the head, the body, and each foot, and attaching them to a crossed handle. Um, I find this kind of problematic for young kids, and my daughter asserted too. Um, we, we started that way. The bird was almost as tall as she was, and there's still a lot to table. So instead, she had the idea to use a stick, just one stick, and attach it directly to the head. So that's what we're going to do over here. Um, Walking, jumping, tap dancing bird.